Now, going forward, here's how we think about telehealth. Our number one goal here is to make sure that, first of all, everybody has universal access to telehealth. It's like one out of five, one out of six um, don't have access. In our demographics, when we're talking about you know, disparities and inequities, in the people who have the worst outcomes, that number can be as low as 50%. One out of two don't have access. So we need to solve that problem right away. Once we give everybody access, then we need to keep studying to figure out in what circumstances does telehealth really add value? And there's a large number of them, okay? And so it's not across the board in every situation, but in certain situations, it is an amazing enabler and can really help. There's just so much right now that we don't know. We're still early on in this process. Uh, We know it's more convenient. um, And so that juxtaposition of convenience and effectiveness is something that we're studying right now. And we're very much excited about it because, of course, you know, we, we are talking about a workforce shortage. And so anything that can make us more effective, more efficient. And of course, having somebody on the other side of that telehealth call, if you will, or video chat that is sort of incentivized to drive to a superior outcome and avoid hospitalizations, that's even more critical. Getting keep people access to doctors that are trying to figure out how to drive up volume and increase procedures and, and increase costs probably won't help and help the inequities and help you know, outcomes. But having increased connectivity through an additional channel such as telehealth to providers who are trying to prevent bad things from happening to people, like people going to the hospital for preventable reasons, that is very powerful. Hey, Dr. Fassel Syed here. Did you like this video? Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking here. And you might like these other videos. Click up here to watch more.